The city of Utrecht is the fourth largest city in the Netherlands. With its central position in the country, it plays a core role in a service area containing nearly a million people. This makes supply distribution a nightmare for the city authorities. Utrecht is an old city with generally narrow streets. Utrecht is also a lively city with lots of shops, bars and pavement cafes, and so supplying the catering businesses and shops properly and on time is difficult. And we also have an air quality problem in the city. We want as many clean vehicles in Utrecht as possible to reduce exhaust emissions in areas with a lot of people. A lot of businesses mean a lot of freight traffic. Utrecht has to pull out all the stops to keep it flowing smoothly. The city does a number of things to optimize the supply process for the inner city. For example, we've introduced delivery time windows and told businesses they can only bring heavy trucks into the city in the mornings between 7 o'clock and half past 11. And we enforce this, so if you break the rules and drive in in the afternoon, you'll face a fine. And trucks are banned from some areas. But we've also set up logical supply routes in the city and set aside unloading bays for trucks. So a lot has already been accomplished, but Utrecht is going further, actively working towards a sustainable society. Urgent efforts are going into plans to reduce traffic in the centre. The city authorities cannot do this on their own because the city must keep its quality of life. So Utrecht looked for business contacts to develop new initiatives. Jacques van der Linden, director of the Utrecht transport company Hoek, took up the challenge and developed the cargo hopper. This is a 16 meter long electric vehicle. It is narrow, so much less of an obstruction in the narrow streets. It can get to places a truck couldn't reach. So cargo hopper can do the work of five vans. Each year this makes a difference of 100,000 van kilometers in the city center, representing 20,000 liters of diesel and 30 tons of CO2 emissions. Why am I working together with the local authorities? Simply because they asked me to join them in thinking up a solution to the problems of distribution in the inner city. I saw both a challenge and an opportunity in it and seized it with both hands. Cargo Hopper is a system. The goods delivered to Hook for distribution no longer enter the city as they used to do in a number of vehicles. They are now delivered to the company's main distribution center 10 kilometers outside the city. There, all the individual consignments are combined, sorted according to street and number, and loaded into just one vehicle. The drivers bring this truck to a transfer point 300 meters from the city center. The packages are then transferred to the cargo hopper. This means that the slow-moving cargo hopper does not have to make the longer journey from the distribution center. This also saves its battery energy. On busy days, this process may be repeated three times. Hook does have to transfer the cargo one extra time. Furthermore, Hook were already an approved city distributor and could therefore bring their trucks into the city center. So it seems there must be other advantages to compensate. It's true, we were already city distributors, but with Cargo Hopper we now have a distinctive factor which gives extra sales strength to our company. This is very important to us. It's all happened very quickly. After we were approached by the city council, I started discussions with them and in effect four months later we had everything in place. The city helped us a lot regarding facilities, such as the permits to go anywhere in the city, the exemption from the delivery time windows, and permission to use the bus lanes. So this has been a pure collaboration with the council. We invested in the hardware, the equipment, and worked everything out. But without the city's cooperation, it wouldn't have happened. Cargo Hopper fits perfectly into the city of Utrecht's plans. It's clean, small scale. It suits the narrow streets in Utrecht. Cargo Hopper has not cost us, the city, any money, just a bit of effort, and we were happy to contribute that.
Chicago Hopper doesn't receive any subsidy from the city, neither for startup nor for its daily running. And we have simply said, as the city of Utrecht, that if a company comes to us with a good concept, as this one is, then we'll look at how we can make it possible. Utrecht has canals and quayside streets with beneath them vaulted waterside warehouses. After a thorough expensive restoration, Utrecht was already searching 10 years ago for a way to get that traffic off the quays while still being able to bring in supplies. The answer was the beer boat. All the catering supplies for five businesses at a time are loaded onto this flat-bottomed barge outside the city and are then delivered to the door, unloaded by onboard crane. The concept is a great success. This year, Utrecht put a second electrically powered beer boat into service. Together, they can deliver around 90 tons of supplies a day. The beer boat has just one disadvantage. It can't reach the streets just off the canals. So there are opportunities here for collaboration with Cargo Hopper. We're even going a step farther. We take over each other's cargo, us with the beer boat by water and the cargo hopper by road. If the combination is convenient, that's what we do. So there's going to be close collaboration and that will continue over the years to come. This style of transport demands a new kind of driver, accustomed to these kinds of techniques. Cargo Hopper takes care of their training itself. Why is Cargo Hopper so keen on helping to train drivers? Trainee drivers are generally 15 or 16 years old and don't really know yet what they want to do later, but they are happy to be drivers. With us, they get the chance, while still very young, to drive around in our vehicles. We've been given special exemptions so they can already drive cargo hopper at that age. So they are learning early on how to take care of goods, how to get on with clients and how to behave in the city. Of course, we're going to need that kind of driver in the future because I don't think Utrecht will be the only place to see cargo hopper. We're going to do more and that's what we'll need the kids for. And it's the sustainable transport factor that makes it so special. We work closely together with VTL, the biggest transport and logistics training concern in the Netherlands, and with them we've drawn up an eco-driver certificate. And may I now present the very first certificate to a trainee driver, Raymond Klarenbeek. Raymond, we've all seen that you are capable of working on your own now. And on behalf of the Training Institute, I'm happy to present you with the eco-driver certificate. There's more that Cargo Hopper can do. It also plays a part in collecting waste materials like paper and cardboard. This saves extra traffic kilometers in the inner city and supplies an extra service. The advantage of Cargo Hopper bringing return packaging materials back out of the city is that Cargo Hopper goes into the city loaded and back out again empty. And with our company, we go in empty and come back out loaded. By linking the two logistical processes, you create a huge synergy. And the advantages to the shopkeeper are also important. I think that the shopkeeper benefits the most from this process. He no longer needs to store packaging because we collect every day. It's removed from his storeroom for him. He no longer has to put it out on the street. So the streets stay cleaner. And for the shop owner, that's also an advantage. Everything looks neater and the public are not so bothered by mess on the street. So I think it's the shop owner especially who's going to welcome this. Cargo Hopper is quiet and efficient, but it can be better still. Why not run it on solar power? Van der Linden saw an opportunity here to make an even stronger statement. However, conversion to solar energy wouldn't fit into the budget, even though Cargo Hopper has the space for almost 10 square meters of solar panels, which even in the Dutch climate would give you seven or eight months in the year of totally emission-free running. No need for charging. The province of Utrecht granted an innovation subsidy to Cargo Hopper because the concept is clean, economical and clever. The province of Utrecht stimulates the development of a clean and sustainable economy and is happy to give businesses that little extra boost. On top of this, Cargo Hopper is a concept where the expertise built up will be shared with other cities and people will get training. That made it even more attractive for us. Cargo Hopper has turned out to be an outstanding initiative.
to effectively and profitably supply in a sustainable fashion. Are other Dutch cities going to adopt the concept? Yes, I'm sure of it. Utrecht is generally seen in the Netherlands as a leading example when it comes to tackling the problems of supplying the inner city. Other Dutch and Belgian cities are very interested. It won't be too long before other towns and cities join in and also introduce the concept. For us, it means that as a transport company, we will be far more interesting to major concerns who might want to work with us. And that means more business for us. Utrecht has done a lot and has come a long way, but there is still more we can do. On one side we have an example setting function, on the other we are unique as a city. We have the key sites where we can supply the catering businesses low down by the water and that's not so elsewhere. I believe that there are more places where cargo hopper could run. It's a compact vehicle which perfectly suits an old inner city. I would say, take a tip from Utrecht. Meanwhile, a month ago, a cargo hopper went into service in Haarlem. And Amsterdam is to follow with three cargo hoppers, all following the Utrecht model. The authorities facilitate and business invests. This is the perfect mix to move towards a sustainable society, made in Holland.